beginning of October, Areva welcomed a delegation from Enel to visit the EPR project in Olkilwater 3. As their new build projects are taking shape, Enel is taking a close look at the evolution and challenges of new generation safety requirements. Being one of the major European utilities, Enel is part of the nuclear renaissance and is currently involved in the EPR construction of Flamanville 3, the French project led by EDF. Giancarlo Aquilanti, head of the nuclear operations of the Italian-based utility, gave its views. Well, for Eni, I think it's quite important that uh, Europe actually get uh, one safety standard applicable to all countries. That, I think, is for two reasons. First, because we believe a lot in the standard design. And uh, if you want to have a standard design, you have to have harmonized safety standards across Europe. And second, because I think we speed up also the approval process in Italy, this is quite important. Not having yet the safety authority, at least not having a construction, uh, plant under construction for so many years. For us, it's quite important that the safety authority has some references that can use outside of Italy. Basically, Anna was one of the founders of the European Fleet Requirements. Also, our participation in the, uh, let's say, from a build project actually is helping us, uh, us also in keeping up with the uh, new safety standards uh, as it is being built, the power plant. I think what is important for us is that uh, we have a reference uh, of uh, a power plant designed and built under those references and approved by safety authority of Europe. And today, actually, in Europe EPR is the only one that is, is being built. The current law in Italy says the safety authority can uh, uh, adopt or use or let's say make use of the approval process in other countries of Europe or of OECD countries. So whatever is the experience gained abroad of Italy will not be lost, will be used actually. And that's why you know, uh, the reference uh, is an important one. We are directly participating from a bill that for us is very important because we have started working in Flamanville since 2006 now. We will look at working water, we will look also at the Chinese project. I think all of the DPR experience all over the world will be useful to us. I think one of the major points is project organization and the second major point is organization of design. I think a lot of experience can be gained from these projects. We are carefully monitoring and looking, that's why we are here in Okivoto, we are carefully monitoring and looking what which are these experiences to take really the best. Areva, as the, uh, let's say, technology owner of DPR, for sure uh, will be uh, needed in order to support some important licensing steps. I imagine that if we're talking about safety analysis, uh, accident analysis and so on and so on, uh, for sure Areva will have an important part from this point of view. Uh, for sure it will be important in order to have the right confidence, or to give the right confidence to a safety authority about what, uh, which are the analysis and the results of analysis. But for sure, from, especially from the safety point of view, we expect to have uh, significant support for